I'll go to the topic for today. Today it won't be the routine topic. I I like to focus more on the notifications, the final notifications, and then I will talk about uh, the consent forms. हम मैं शुरू से मेरा एक ही मोटो रहा है आपके सबके साथ में नो वी हैव ट्रेंड अराउंड मोर देन 830 पीपल आवर मोटो इज वेरी सिंपल दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू कीप आवर पेशेंट सेफ पेशेंट सेफ्टी फर्स्ट पेशेंट सेफ्टी के साथ साथ में एक बहुत बड़ी सेफ्टी करनी होती है वो क्या सेफ्टी होती है एनीवन सेफ्टी नेटिंग खुद की सेफ्टी खुद की सेफ्टी अपनी खुद की सेफ्टी यस अपनी सेफ्टी नहीं करेंगे तो काम कैसे चलेगा तो अपनी सेफ्टी हमें दो तरह से करनी पहली बात लर्न अबाउट द क्लिनिकल प्रॉब्लम्स जहां पर हम गलती मत करें एंड वी शुड फेस ए सम सॉर्ट ऑफ लीगल इशू सेकंड इज द सेफ्टी बाय गिविंग आवर सेल्फ ए मेडिकल लीगल ये दो चीजें सबको मैं बार बार फिर बोलता हूँ अपनी सेफ्टी करना बहुत जरूरी है तो विद दैट इन बैकग्राउंड आई ग्रेजुअली इवॉल्व टू टू डेज टॉपिक एंड दिस टॉपिक You would have seen this picture couple of times before, but I think it's very important for me to build up a topic like this. That you know, when couples get married, agenda is very clear of the parents that immediately make some nice embryos and get pregnant, and uh, the pregnancy is norm normally natural. And then this is about the journey of a couple having a baby and that lovely baby, you know, color full of color. But sometimes things don't happen. Things go wrong. Uh, things are not going the way we want them to go. Then we have to shift towards IUI or IVF. So gradually, you know, when we started the work, we had bell jar babies. Bell jar means a small jar, in which the babies were cultured. This was a bell jar. Louis Brown was born by in a bell jar, and uh, embryologist was. Can can someone tell me who was embryologist for Louis Brown? Anyone? उटेलोटेलोमन Uh, the modern woman is a woman who's uh, who wants to empower herself she is doing multitasking when she does multitasking she does better than the men does everything better than the men always but only one thing is that she gets married late and when marriage is delayed will have problems and she may need ivf more frequently so just to say that her time of marriage is increasing this is very important for us to understand as you can see a lot of celebrities are getting married late they take help of iva for surrogacy <laughs> so keeping that in mind you found that a lot of people in our country were moving towards such particular as, as things were going on we found that a lot of litigation cases came not from our country but from abroad which had a very well defined rulings and we found that uh, sometimes the wife was forging signature husband for the forging signature embryos were being stolen semen sample was being stolen these things we keep kept hearing and uh, i have taken these few clips from the internet and then the problem came to india gradually we found that india was going the western way where we have we were having the such type of relations they're pretty common where we get caught many times then this movie is about surrogacy in case you have not seen it please watch this movie Nearly the whole of surrogacy act is based upon this movie. We have uh, this is the actual problem which the government was facing. Then there were some uh, some people who were claiming hundred percent result. So that's the way it went on. So people were using the surrogates donors and they were making money out of them, which probably came up in a not taken was not taken up in a good spirit. The thing had to be anonymous, but the woman was in front of a camera all the time. so there was nothing anonymous about it and as a result the privacy of the woman was going she was not being paid properly poor wo woman had to give x the poor woman became surrogates 
Give the time when in our country the women could don- donate six times. The guideline six times they could donate. And there was not yeah. much of age criteria. Then you're all aware that not good things were happening in our country. So it's a very welcome thing that now the guidelines have come and uh, we are so happy that finally we have some something in place. Maybe it's taken around 18 to 19 years. So this is the, how the life went on and this are a few pictures and uh, these were the way people were getting these firms and probably they were paying them. Uh, they were paying them through the advertisements. But now we found that we have got accountability issues. Pumps and eggs, they come with Aadhaar and PAN cards. So it's not like before. And nowadays, a lot of care is being taken for the for the uh, good quality oocytes, IVFs. IVF is becoming better. But as the women are aging, the number of eggs available in her may become less. That's the time. In the past 8-10 years, we saw that a lot of women were undergoing egg, egg donation, egg sharing. Majority of them may have been unethical or ethical, we won't talk about it here today, but they became like bad loans, which led to problems, DNA testings, uh, the, the things not matching and the problems continue to an extent that where government had to intervene. So this is how the, the, the modern day babies are born. They are born with, as you can see here, a lot of barcoding and uh, just can't fool the world anymore. Accidentally or knowingly or unknowingly, we can't make a mistake. We can't tweak with their DNA. That's a basic problem. So be very careful when we are doing this. And this would be the aim of my talk for talk for you today. That I don't want that any one of you should get involved into any litigation matter. So we, we planned the lecture for the, our alumnus and some new new members, keeping in view the changing uh, the changing scenario in our country. So in our country, we at this point of time. Uh, we have very less number of donors, less number of surrogates. And more than that, the whole technology has become very expensive. Shortcuts people tend to take, that they'll, lend, they'll put them into the problem. And then we have unstable marriages. So all these things are adding to the problem of lack of donors and lack of uh, booms and surrogates. And then came certain guidelines and rules. So before I move ahead, I will just write for you here how the things progress. So it was the year 2021. We were somewhere in December. And suddenly on 20th of December, we got the first ruling from the government of India. That was uh, Act of 42 of 2021. This was for the ART clinic. This came for the ART clinic. And then we got the second one. I think that the number was 47 of 2021. This again came as a Christmas gift, and this was for surrogacy. So these two things came, and they hit everyone very hard. And suddenly, you know, we were drawn to the wall. Before this, I have to tell you that all these things were there. All these things were there already. People were following them. People were who were registered with ICMR. But now it became an act, and when it becomes an act, we don't have a way out. So I'll tell you how the things progressed thereafter. So when the things came up in December, December 2021, the things got the things got uh, notified, and the gazette came somewhere in month of January finally, and then people started representing. So a lot of us went to the uh, went to the ICMR, DHR, and represented, and even they encouraged our representations. So as a society, Indian Fertility Society represented in a big way, and uh, then other societies also contributed. And as a result, the things were uh, pro- probably controlled a bit. And then came something called amendment or the rules. This came in month of March of 2022. And following which we had something called instructions, which came as we went on, instructions came in month of May. And following which we had notifications. So now when the notifications come, then the notifications came on 7th of June. So when the thing, when the government notifies, when the government of India notifies something, then it becomes nearly final. It's very difficult to represent against a notification of an act. When it is notified, it means that now things are in the right perspective and we can't break any rule. So how do we plan to go on this lecture? Uh, 
what I will do is, as I move ahead, first of all, I'll tell you the all these guidelines are lined with us. We got around oh, seven, eight, seven guidelines with us, which we'll be sending to you yeah. after okay. the class is over. Immediately within half an hour, you set all the guidelines. So what we'll do is, let's have a mute. Uh, Act comes in. Uh, act has act, act has got six chapters. किसी भी act के छः chapter होते हैं. ये जो छः chapter होते हैं, ये क्या-क्या cover करते हैं? So because you have to read two, you have to read the act and notification now. So coming uh, two three days, I send you both the copies. Read act, read notification. Act के छः भाग होते हैं. पहला part act का is most important for us, and that is called definitions or prelims. This will give you definition of all the conditions. Who is a male? Who is a woman? Who is a surrogate? Who is a commissioning couple? Intending couple? All of you should be reading about the part one or the chapter one. Chapter one ke baad mein aata hai the type of boards which are made and uh, the, the the regulatory bodies which are the regulatory bodies it talks about them. Chapter three talks about how the governance of the regulatory bodies how they will govern. Chapter Uh, four talks about our duties as doctors. How should we how should we work up around the whole situation? Chapter five is about the punishment, offence, and penalties. And chapter six is miscellaneous, which they say how everything will be applied. So when we connect all the five chapters, it becomes miscellaneous or chapter six. That tells us how we should work and how the committee is going to regulate everything. So there are six chapters. Or in case you look at the file on the The uh, Act of forty two, forty two or two zero two one will be sending you this in very soon. So it comes with Ashoka, and it is released by the, it is approved by the President of India, and then it has got approval of Ministry of Law and Justice. Once you come, means that government has already implemented the act. So you just can't play with it. So, pehla baat kisko bolaye? Please write. Please write. Please write. In case you have a diary with you, that the the act is only for sixteen pages. Sola page ka act hai. Sixteen pages, and this act has got six chapters, and it has got. Forty-six sections. Forty-six. Sections. Please write it down because until you won't write it down, you'll never understand things. Every day we find that there is a new lecture on the ART Act or ART ART Bill. But when the lecture is over, you go back and you don't remember anything. So today I'm going to change the way we talk to you. So we have. I'm repeating. We have an Act of of twentieth December. And this act will be sent to you very quickly. That is called Act Forty Two of Twenty Twenty One. It has got sixteen pages. It's got six chapters, and it has got forty-six sections. So once you go to the new notifications which came on seventh of June, so this is the notification. This is notification which came from Government of India. So the notification will refer back to the act. All the amendments. So, आप लोग you get confused. You don't know what to do. And if you look at it, it's basically for around thirteen pages. तेरा पेज का है. पहला सोला पेज का है तेरा पेज का. आप अगर इन्हें पढ़ लेंगे, you don't have to go to anybody to ask anything. You will be self empowered. Unfortunately, you don't read the whole day you spend on WhatsApp, Instagram, Twitter. But ये अगर हम तीस पेज पढ़ लेंगे, then you don't need to have to go to any any sort of Webinar or any conference. It's very very clear. So moving ahead, uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take you this through this journey of how the things uh, went ahead, and uh, I'm so happy to see we got three thirty eight people who are there now. Why well, really our family is really growing. Agriti, we have to go to a bigger package now. Of yes, sir. <laughs> so, हमारे लिए जो चीजें जरूरी हैं मैं वही बताने वाला हूँ. I know. Sandhya doesn't understand Hindi, but Sandhya sometimes I went talk in Hindi. Okay, my mother Basha. So we have to first of all know what is infertility. 
without knowing what is infertility don't treat anyone whatever definitions have been given have been superseded this means infertility one year of unprotected intercourse ye 6 mahina age 36 elderly kuch nahi hai one year of one year of marriage is not able to conceive with infertility and definitely yes in case somebody has got some sexual disorder or somebody has got a bigger problem you can go earlier also but that should be properly documented who is a commissioning couple commissioning couple is a married couple infertile married couple commissioning couple is not two women it is not two men it is not any queer sex yesterday i got a uh, inquiry that some male has done the gender conversion and now he is married and he wants to undergo ivf now she and she wants to undergo ivf so that is gender conversion so i think these things are not allowed as per a law so we have infertile married couple and married couple normally they say it is male and female then who is a woman the most important thing for us who is a woman here this gentlemen ladies please look at me. any woman woman is any woman any woman above the age of 21 years who approaches an art clinic can avail services of an art clinic so women starts from age of 21 years and goes till what age anyone what age for the woman 40 years 50 50 50 50 50 excellent 50 men 55 men is 55 women is 50 listen so 21 to 50 is the age of the woman and before december what was the age anyone let's make it interactive i have taught all of you 55 to 45 45 must become 21 to 50 just remember that's all i want to tell you today try to drop the oil from your spoon i keep telling you this example of keeping your mind free and mind free of any previous garbage drop the garbage jo bata raha hu isko aap likh lijiye diary ke andar and this uh, all these guidelines will be sent to you within half an hour I, i'm going to send you seven guidelines within half an hour of lecture reading over in case somebody uh, is joined here and is not part of our whatsapp group please send us a message so we'll add you in the group only then you can get these guidelines so it's a very 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 nice collection take advantage of the whatsapp groups and get the guidelines from us so what we get what we got initially was art regulation of art clinic i told you this was 42 of 2021 it came on 20th and december so now page cards only 16 pages very easy to read go through it okay moving ahead this was the one which came as i told you 16 pages and this is how it looked it was came from ministry of law and justice this is a number which is given here very simple document and this was called the art act as you can see here this was the one when it came a lot of people represented and then came when the representation occurred then came a document of 96 pages big document 96 pages it covered everything about how to implement an act but this had many 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 lacunas good or bad it was very progressive but probably we were not ready for such good progress very soon so government rolled back and thank you so much i should say the government of india that they have rolled back and made make the life of a uh, lot of people comfortable so it was the it's called the rules these rules meant how to implement an act for the rule so it was 96 pages initial document 16 pages and how to govern them it was 96 pages look at how to how government wanted to regulate everything and uh, really i think the the people who planned it they put lot of mind into it and hats off to them and then again some representations is our say democracy we keep representing we represent it again and now when we represent it government brought out instructions the government brought out instructions and instructions means that okay now it is telling you instructing you and these came on 13th of may they were the instructions so many of you would be new here 
they may not they must be wondering ki main aapka samay kyon kharab kar raha hu but in case any one of you who is a gynecologist or an embryologist and wants to do any amount of ovarian stimulation or handle like a meat or you want to carry out an iui you have to do this so when you people come to us for hands on training at birla fertility we make i i ask you how many of you have done your registration and 50% of people have not registered last batch 70 people have not registered so we get get our teams to guide you we go to the public portals and register you at at uh, at, at our academy but main point is that please Sir, register where sorry register. i'll come to register with the government of india dhr okay. okay so you have to learn how to register at dhr site it's a portal there so uh, this is very important and we have been doing it routinely for the people who anyone who needs any help in this session do contact us we'll help you it's very simple technique we'll take you on call and try to help you okay then came instructions and then came the final nail in the coffin It's good coffin good nail it was called notification 47 page document bada maza aata hai when you when you people tell me sir document to pura hindi ke andar hai very common answer get is sir pura ka pura hindi ke andar document hai english hi hai nahi iske andar so you have to know that whenever government gives you a gadget gadget Uh, what is the national language it is hindi so any document which comes in the final format it has got hindi and english so first few pages are in hindi jaisa matrabhasha and then we got english so pages number if you look at the document pages number 1 to 25 were in hindi and 26 onwards if you look at it 26 to 47 pages were in english so when you send us a document read it don't say sir pata nahi kya bheja hai it's all in hindi not like that okay so now what are the things which you which you are supposed to know here so i'm just putting it on the on the on the table now i'm putting the whole elephant on the table isse pehle what all happened in december there are a lot of things happened in december when it came a lot of things happened in march a lot of things happened in may so in sab ko bhul jaiye as i teach you delete from your memory put it in the recycle bin empty the recycle bin what i'm telling you today is a final thing iske aage piche dekhna hi nahi hai only two documents you going to refer to one document is called act of act of 42 and then the notification of 7th june same thing was sir okay see you will do that's what we'll be sending you today so there are two type of clinics so can i ask you if you permit me how many of you are doing iuis can you how many of you are doing iuis we are doing sir yes i know you are doing sir you are doing so now abhi hum 1 minute ke liye aake band karenge mera sawal dhyan se sunenge sawal ko bahut dhyan se suno aap स्क्रीन पे एक जगह है जहां पर यू कैन रेज योर हैंड इन केस यू नो इन केस यू कांट यू कैन टॉक टू अस आल्सो हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू हु आर डूइंग आईयूआईज हैव गॉट योरसेल्फ रजिस्टर्ड ऑन द डीएचआर आई लाइक आई लाइक टू हैव एन फ्रैंक आंसर फ्रॉम यू सो दैट लेट्स सी हाउ आवर कंट्री इज गोइंग हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू हैव गॉट योरसेल्फ रजिस्टर्ड वन मुदिता आई कैन सी योर हैंड Uh, sir i have registered in uh, uh, pcpndt uh, Ma- madam my question is very clear my question is very clear how many of you who are doing iuis have got yourself registered sir we registered how many how many have not registered okay let's take it the approximately 15 people have have raised their hands how many have not registered see we want to help you this class is not a gossip class i don't have webinars you know it उटर 
How many have not registered? I would like to know. Okay. So in case you have not registered, it's a very simple technique. We will though the last date is over. Seventeen people have raised their hands. So hats off to you to have guts to put it on the ground. So eighteen have not registered. It's fantastic, you know. That's the way the families work. Fantastic. Twenty-one. So you people are liable to be. In case a common inspector unit and they catch you doing IUI, you can be penalized. So please. आज रात को बैठ के सबके सब सीखें हाउ टू रजिस्टर इफ एनी प्रॉब्लम्स मेक ए ग्रुप पुट इन द ग्रुप यू कैन मेक सम ग्रुप एंड देन वी कैन गाइड यू इन अ कंबाइंड वे हाउ टू रजिस्टर ओके इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट इज दैट व्हेन यू व्हेन एवरी डू एन आईयूआई इट इज कॉल्ड 20 हैव रजिस्टर्ड हैंड फॉर नॉट रजिस्टरिंग हाउ कम आई एम सरप्राइज्ड इतना पढ़ा पढ़ा कर खत्म सब भूल जाते हो आप लोग सो रिमेंबर देयर आर टू टाइप ऑफ क्लिनिक्स A level one clinic and a level two clinic. Level one is an IUI center and level two is a lab center. I'm sure you know these things. When you register for level one, you have to pay rupees fifty thousand. And for level two, you have to pay two lakh rupees. Level two is lab. And surrogacy, lab and surrogacy. When you want to do surrogacy or you want to have a laboratory, you have to pay two lakh rupees. And when you want to do only IUI, it is rupees fifty thousand. पहले ये दो लाख था और पांच लाख था. अगर आपको bank खोलना है, then you have to pay rupees fifty thousand. Sir, can I please ask a question? Quick, please ask. Sir, I just wanted to know if we have registered as a level two clinic. Do we still need to register as a IUI center as no, well? No, no, no. Then no, it no. is taken for granted that you are no. IUI center as well. You can, you can. Sir, एक मेरे छोटे मेरे छोटे से help कीजिएगा please. When you're talking now, identify yourself because I am not. Sir, Nisha speaking. Doctor Nisha Bhatnagar. Hi, Nisha. How are you? I I am good, sir. Nisha Thank not you, sir. required. Nisha not required. I no, yes, sir. You should pop up without popping up in front of me. So when you are in level two, आपको कुछ भी नहीं करना. You can do IUI also because then you are coming down. You can't move up. You can come down, okay? Because the qualification is different. Your qualification is 50 OPUs, so you can come down. But IUI वाले IVF नहीं कर सकते. Just remember that. Okay. So here important part is that we have to register and how do we register? See, अभी गम अभी हमारा present status क्या है? अभी what is the present status? So please give me uh, full attention in case you don't mind. Just close your eyes. इस समय सारे phone बंद कर दीजिए. Just close your phones. I'm sure you people have come to learn and really want to. You are actually interested, so don't write on my screen. Close your phone, close your eyes, and just listen to me. I'm going to tell you certain facts. It will make your life very simple. इसके बाद don't go to any webinars and don't attend any other meetings around. Nobody will know as much as you. Mota mota. So the concept is when the guidelines came, they came on act came on 20th of June, 20th of December. गवर्नमेंट ने आपको छह महीने दिए फॉर दी एग्जिस्टिंग सेंटर्स गवर्नमेंट गेव यू छह महीना कि छह महीने में अपने आप को रजिस्टर कर लो सो व्हेन यू रजिस्टर्ड दे गेव यू सिक्स मंथ्स टिल ट्वेंटी ऑफ जून बीस जून के बाद जितने पुराने सेंटर थे गवर्नमेंट थिंक्स यू वुड हैव ऑल रजिस्टर्ड मेटर से उसके बाद जो भी नए यूनिट आ रहे हैं और न्यू यूनिट एंड द ओल्ड यूनिट वेन दे रजिस्टर्ड You had to go to the public portal. Uh, sorry, the ART portal. I'll show the portal how it works, and then you got a downloadable PDF that you have registered, and that PDF actually meant applied for. The central government ka tha. Central government ne ek portal bana diya. Go there, punch in your names, punch in what they want, and they give you a letter that you are now registered with us. Just say, just say, print out what you get from them, and then it tells you. Go to your state authorities and submit this. Government ne kya bola? DHR ne kya bola? Ki ham national body hai. Health is a statement. Government made the policies. Now the state government had to make their state bodies, which will implement. Government will steer it, but implementation will will be from the state. State is a health matter. So her state ke under it is not the same mo. it is the ministry of health which will make the board 
अभी बोर्ड कुछ स्टेट्स में बन गया है और बाकी स्टेट्स में नहीं बना 20 जून के बाद जो भी नए सेंटर रजिस्टर हो रहे हैं एक्चुअली दे कैन नॉट वर्क विदाउट द रजिस्ट्रेशन दे कांट हैव अप्लाइड फॉर ओल्ड पीपल हैड अप्लाइड फॉर बट द न्यू यूनिट विल हैव टू रजिस्टर विद द स्टेट बोर्ड पर अभी स्टेट बोर्ड बने नहीं है सो वी आर इन ए बिट ऑफ फ्लक्स सो वॉट यू लर्न फ्रॉम दिस इज हाउ थिंग्स आर मूविंग नेशनल बोर्ड इज फॉर्म दे हैव डिक्लेयर इट immediately go to the website and apply for a level 1 or level 2 clinic then you will get a chitthi take that chitthi and they have told you where to go in your in your state they have given the telephone numbers and they have also given you some email ids go and contact them and as you contact them they will tell you that we are opening our board in say 10 days 15 days one month whenever they open their board that's the time they will call you they already have a copy of their unit Like for Birla Fertility, we have already got our Kolkata center registered both for surrogacy and IVF. Kolkata is open, so we got ourselves registered, and they have done the inspection also. But Baki is not is not there at other units, so be ready with your sheets. And the moment it is open, they will call you normally, or you can also go to them, and then either they'll come and inspect and then take the money from you. The last date of paying money is now thirty first of July, thirty uh, first of. Uh, जुलाई इन कोलकाता सो मंडे तक लास्ट डेट है पेमेंट का थर्टी फर्स्ट जुलाई संडे लास्ट पेमेंट है लास्ट डे है पेमेंट का सो डिपेंडिंग अपॉन वेर यू आर बोर्ड्स आर ओपन दे विल टेक मनी फ्रॉम यू इंस्पेक्ट यू और इंस्पेक्ट एंड देन टेक मनी दस इट वर्क सो बाय रजिस्टरिंग यू आर नॉट पेइंग मनी लॉट ऑफ पीपल आर स्केर्ड इन केस यू रजिस्टर वील टू पे मनी यू आर नॉट पेइंग एनी मनी फाइन जस्ट गेट ए पी डी एफ एंड बी सिक्योर दैट यू द राइट थिंग सो with this i'll move ahead to the next point bone of contention they had come out with a test called chlamydia so chlamydia aaya tha ki chlamydia har case ka chlamydia karna padega no but now chlamydia is gone so these are the four tests which are required for donors as if you remember when the law came donor cycles has have, have been stopped not many people are doing donor cycles because of multiple reasons we'll talk about them as we move ahead but donor cycles both for sperm and eggs have been stopped this you have to know when case we do when this when they are initiated the donors have to be free from any Infectious or genetic disorders, and they have to carry out these four different types. Hello, sir. Can I ask a question? Please ask. Myself, Dr. Raj Boldan from Aurangabad, Maharashtra. Hi, Raj. How are you? I am okay. fine, sir. Uh, actually, uh, I am an old center working from fourteen years, but I haven't registered till the date. So, what will be the complications I will be facing? अभी अभी कर ले अगर खोला अभी साइट खोला आज ही आज ही कर ले अभी सर. मैंने यूजर नेम पासवर्ड क्रिएट किया एक महीना पहले, but not yet registered. तो कभी कर ले वही चलेगा वही वैलिड रहेगा दैट इज वैलिड फॉर यू तो आई हैव रजिस्टर्ड इट बिफोर 20th मैंने यूजर नेम पासवर्ड क्रिएट किया है नहीं हैव यू गॉट द प्रिंट आउट फ्रॉम हैव यू अपलोडेड हैव यू टोल्ड देम योर स्टफिंग पैटर्न नथिंग नथिंग करो ना अभी लॉगिन करके कर लो आधे घंटे में कुछ प्रॉब्लम तो नहीं आएगा कुछ नहीं आएगा अभी नहीं करेगा तो प्रॉब्लम आएगा करेगा तो प्रॉब्लम ओके थैंक यू राइट अवे डू इट राइट अवे यस अगर और अगर नहीं करोगे तो देन यू विल बी कॉट देन यस सर immediately i will do it hmm? do it in the night yes sir yes sir so thank you thank you thank you raj so duties yes. of prt clinic the clinic ki jo duties hai aapko pata hai that we have to do clean safe practice and do good work so we won't talk about the things uh, which we are not supposed to know but one thing you have to know that informed decision important ho gaya pehle itna nahi tha ab you have to inform the patients about everything inform the patient about the cost of procedure medical side effects multiple pregnancy so we have to now keep the patient informed be very careful in case they say we were not informed we will be in thick soup you have to make them aware of their rights and then the most important thing which can put us into problem is something called a grievance this thing is new it's a minute complaint cell which has been created so every unit will have a grievance cell and grievance cell in case you don't have तो वहीं पर ही सेंटर को दे कैन पुट इन ट्रबल लाइक पीसीपी एंटिटी ग्रीवेंस सेल इज द वन व्हिच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर सो प्लीज क्रिएट अ ग्रीवेंस सेल राइट अवे एंड ग्रीवेंस सेल वी हैव टू फिल फॉर्म 5 
which I'll be showing to you very, very soon. The duties of VRT clinic. This is the duties of VRT clinic is part of which chapter? Anyone? Which chapter of an act will cover duties of VRT clinic? Chapter 4. Chapter 4. Chapter 3. Very good. 4. 4, ma'am. 4. Age of the woman, 21. 50. Age of the men, 21. 50. Don't treat anyone less than that. Any young girl coming to you at 18, 19, don't start that treatment. What is the age of male, sir? Age of male, 21, 55. Sir, but then fertility preservation? Thank you, sir. No, 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 no. That's, That's a different, different issue. That you can do, do at any age. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm talking sir. about, I'm talking about, uh, talking about uh, a married then. couple. No, married couple, age is 21. Married girl is 21. Unmute in hey. Age of marriage is 21 years. So the whole, the ball rolls at 21 years. So just remember that. Lower part is 21 years always. Then we have to inform the couple about all these things. And uh, these are all English. I think we all know about this and we had multiple. We normally have around seven to eight hours of discussion on, on the laws when we have our classes. So the duties of ART bank now. Now I'm coming to the bank. What does the bank do? The bank ka jo age hai for the simen, it is 21 and 55. Same. Same as a marriage, as a self. And but for the woman, it is between 23 and 35 years. Just remember this. All these things will be sent to you in the next half an hour or 45 minutes. So don't worry about copying. It will be given to you. But these ages are important because these, on this basis of ages, if we don't follow the ages, we'll be in thick soup. We start treating in Hello, a sir. Can I ask one question? Yes. Uh, sir, uh, if the woman is uh, more than 21, she, suppose she is 22 uh, with premature ovarian failure, so can I take it for IVF or for IVF yes. if it is more no, than 22? No, no. Such women probably you can apply to the DHR. I'll say that rules are not clear. But uh -huh. nobody will stop you from treating that a woman in case she has got uh, such... A glaring problem. I will say that there is one uh, email ID which I will giving to you. That is called information at DHR. You can take the clarification. Sir, but, but nobody will stop you. I am very, very sure they are very kind people. In case there is a genuine problem, so, so, suppose somebody has got an erectile dysfunction which can't be treated or something of that nature. Uh, I think government can help you. But uh, but one thing is very clear that don't treat anyone before 21 years of age because they can't sir, get married before 21. Sir, in hypo, can I ask one question? They can't sir. get married before 21, I think. Before you before you ask any other question, the age of marriage is 21. So, 21 se pehle kuch bhi aap, they are not a commissioning couple. So whatever you do, do after 21. In case she's got a POF, you can treat her for POF or whatever you, whatever you want to do. But they are not coming to you as a married couple. So we, can, we cannot give a letters also and they have a natural sex and get a, uh, means without IUN, without ARD, we cannot, we can advise some fertility treatment for them. No, age of marriage is 21 years. In case you are registered to the government of India, the age of marriage is 21 years of age. And I've shown showed you this thing very, very clearly. I'll go back. Please read this. Yes, sir. Understood. In, 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 yes, infertile yes. married couple. Hai. Abhi skandar, in case we start making those small, small, you know, uh, deliberations, I don't have any answer. But government has made the guidelines infertile married couple as per the notification. Iske baad, hum jo bhi karenge, we are doing it. I personally feel because you want to do something thereafter. There's an email ID, we'll give it to you in the group. Just write to them and ask them. But they have said... Sir, a question was asked. Please ask it, please ask it. Sir, outside freezing related, if a patient is 21 years old, but he is unmarried, can we do that outside freezing? It should be an indication, right? Indication, what is the indication of doing outside freezing? You are doing it for 21 years, 21 years, if there is a fertility preservation, then you are doing it for 21 years. You can do a roofside freezing, definitely. But fertility preservation, nobody will ask for. Social egg freezing, the guidelines are not clear. But this is ambiguous. 
सोशल एक्ट फ्रीजिंग एट 21 वन ईयर्स का कोई रोल ही नहीं बनता है एक्चुअली दो रोल ऑफ दैट बट इन केस शी इज यूर शी यूर गोइंग इन फॉर फर्टिलिटी प्रिजर्वेशन येस यू कैन गो एंड डू इट इट इज नो प्रॉब्लम हां सर एक पेशेंट आई थी 35 ईयर एज था और वो आउट ऑफ इंडिया जॉब करती है हाँ. तो वो हमारे सेंटर में आई थी तो बोल रही थी मुझे उस साइड फ्रीजिंग करना था I think the the law is slightly silent on this. The, the law has not covered this part at all. But I feel that uh, uh, as of now, should restrict yourself to the woman having uh, a problem. So the young girl should avoid. You should limit yourself to the conditions such as fertility preservation. But social exclusion comes under some sort of fertility preservation only. But it is law is slightly ambiguous on that. But again, I say when you get such a condition. You definitely just send drop a mail and take the permission. Thank you, sir. But lady, preservation you can do it. Nobody will ask you anything. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Can I ask one question? No, let me continue. Let me continue. Otherwise, I'll never close okay, it. Uske baad we'll have have lectures. You can keep writing it down. So this is now very important that we have to have the full information about the enrollment, the enrollment of the woman. because if we don't have the uh, we have to keep the full record of the enrollment of the women because if we don't have this we have to submit that data to the government of india by probably 5th of every month after the uh, the law was up to get registered and the portals are made 5th of every month the data will have to be given to the government of india and this is called the enrollment enrollment of commissioning couple what are we doing gamete donor gamete donor surrogates all the information has to be given to the national registry so i was at grievance cell the most important part grievance cell means that every unit will have a grievance cell it can be a small plastic box which you can keep keep a keep a board saying that here is a grievance cell keep ready with you form 5 form 5 has to be kept ready it means that any patient has got a problem or a complaint they take the form 5 write their complaint or their grievance and put in the box it is not given to you put in the box this is a very important part of our working so please implement the grievance cell in your units If not done, do it right away. Is for IUI as well as IVF. Please do it very quickly in case you have not done it. And then you have to see the form five. Who will see? It should come to you. It shouldn't happen that your nurse or somebody can open the chabi and thala and throw it off. They don't take the right action. You should be you should be the one taking the right action. Should have the complete policy guideline and process flow of the. guidelines of the grievance sir, sir i just wanted to ask you here do you, yes. i read that the for the grievance committee you need to have a member of a ngo and a, someone from every branch of the clinic is that so or we can just NGO, make this NGO, ngo is not specified anywhere ngo is okay. not specified anywhere but definitely from your unit you can have you are as the head of the unit the director or the head should be the the chair of this particular grievance committee Okay, and so one one from house uh, from the uh, housekeeping department, one from the staff like that. We can make a grievance. Housekeeping, I don't know what will housekeeping do in the yeah. grievance field. They are not educated enough. I think you can have one. Okay, then I said one director, one clinician should take. And that's how we should do. Housekeeping, what will it do? So they are saying the, the rules, the rules of the grievance committee. They said that one person from each department should be there. No, that is right, but uh, you can. What will a housekeeping person do? So what, what I suggest is that you should have the director, the okay. clinician, and a nurse or a counselor. Three four people are good enough. Okay. One second. One second. One second. One second. More important is one second. More important is that have a grievance there. We form five there. If it is not there, then uh, probably uh, there will be a bigger problem. Yes. Now ask. Sir, your your uh, lecture is very informative, sir. Let us continue, sir. Because of questions, you are interrupting me, yeah. and you are not. Please don't. Things. So please don't so, ask questions for some time. I'm totally please, with sir, you. Stop questions. Thank you. Sir. Please. Yes. Very informative please questions you are giving, sir. Coming lecture. coming Thank to you, insurance sir. cover. Thank you, brother. Uh, Thank you, insurance sir. cover is very important. Now, in this, I am going to tell you some things. Please listen to me very carefully. Again, 
i say come back to bring your mind to what i'm going to write on the screen we have to give insurance cover for opo for one year okay. insurance cover for surrogate for 3 years 36 months now the point is that whenever we do make a policy insurance policy is made insurance this for the donor actually for the donor only it should cover every ailment during the opo which can occur surgical or medical ailments even death anesthesia related or death hemoperitoneum ohss everything should be covered they say take any policy from an irda approved insurance agency in our country presently there is no insurance policy which covers covers opu properly so they say take a general health policy take a general health policy the issue with general health policy is that in case you take and that's the reason that all the companies all the corporates all the clinics are not doing any donor cycles because in case you take a general health policy that will normally start after 10 days or 7 days of taking the insurance or even one month of taking the insurance donor comes to you for the opu donor and in case you take the policy here the policy will start somewhere on day 10 even if you take it here and in case on day 12 something happens to the patient during the pickup he collapses anesthesia any problem insurance won't be valid the reason being in the it should be starting starting from any event occurring from the day it has become valid so in case she has got ovarian hyperstimulation or she's got a she's got hemoperitoneum or she collapses they will say this event was initiated from day 2 so that's not the so you have to think what do we do we are all trying to get a proper answer and i think very soon we'll have a proper insurance policy but it's holding everyone from insurance policy the important part along here one more point is there this is what they say irda approved policy insurance cover general health policy it will cover all complications due to oocyte retrieval and this is a cover in the section 22 para 4 sub para 11 of act of 42 of 21 ert act so now what i am trying to tell you people here is when in very simple language that presently there is no insurance policy with us is going to come very soon i'm sure it's a pehle be careful before starting anything and remember that whenever a donor is recruited the donor will will be will will be an affidavit made between the commissioning couple and the bank and that affidavit will be sworn before metropolitan magistrate and metropolitan magistrate may not be available on a chutti day or a holiday or maybe difficult on weekends maybe i don't know we don't have a guidelines presently in that case the woman comes to you on day 2 and you cannot start her case because you don't have the magistrate approval these are two things which are holding all the good units in the country for starting a donor cell i'm leaving it here without going into much more details of this so magistrate signature is required swearing ha- swearing in has to be done in front of the magistrate this is important any government of india may the magistrate can do it people ask a kahan ka hona chahiye magistrate i think any magistrate can do it wherever you are wherever the patient is based that city it can be done easily so moving further we come to we come to the second part of the lecture and the second part of lecture is a pretty important one that is called staff requirement staff requirement kept changing over the period of time now we have come to the notifications and in not- as i told you in the act we hamare paas 6 chapter the छ चैप्टर थे और फोर्टी फोर सेक्शन थे नाउ वी कम टू नोटिफिकेशन नोटिफिकेशन डेक्शन बट इट डेप्टर्स नोटिफिकेशन प्राइमरीली वर्क विद सम सेक्शन एंड देन इट वर्क ऑन शेड्यूल 
So when you refer to the document, which which we'll be giving to you, I think Akriti is going to give you all the documents within half an hour or so. This is a document of seven June. Document of seventh and seven June. Is me kya padna hai aapko? Is me pehle ke three page padne hai. Total nine page padne wale hai. Nine page ka document hai, mota mota. Pehle ke three page padne hai. Aur iski andar it works on something called schedule. There are schedule has got schedule has got part one. and part 2 part 1 is for basically for gynec ka qualification anyone's qualification hiring and part 2 is about the equipment so schedule 1 pad lijiyega will be will be sending to you notifications very quickly in an half an hour or so read about schedule part 1 and part 2 done so moving ahead This is what you require in level one clinic. You only need a MD gynec. Any MD gynec can work at level one clinic and carry out IUI. Level one means IUI. So, in case anyone is doing an IUI that is a level one clinic, please get yourself registered very quickly by night. Do it. Second is level two clinic. Level two clinic kept changing, but now the final level two clinic which you get is one gynec. One anesthetist, one embryologist, one counselor, and one director and an embryologist. Probably in case you have a director, not important. The director has gone now. So any gynec, single gynec, can start an ART clinic, along with a counselor, embryologist, and anesthetist. So government has brought brought down the qualifications. Initially, in case you look at the rules, they were one director, two gynecs. Pretty difficult. Now it's become very simple. So that's the way you're gonna move. But here comes one catch. They have come with the counselor. A counselor has to have a proper qualification. A graduate in psychology, clinical psychology, nursing. This is very important for a counselor. Just can't take any counselor who comes to you and take them into or on your payroll. Be very careful. 